What's up, everybody? Welcome to Point Fighter Live. I'm Alex Reyes, and I'm here with Christopher Robinson. What's going on, man? What's going on? Everything good out there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little hot. That's about it. Yeah, man. Can he? So, you know, I had a great time out there in Houston at the Jam All Nationals. And, bro, as we're let, as people are coming in now and joining the show, uh, you know, i like to welcome everybody, Point Fighter Live. We're going to be talking about Jam All Nationals. Uh, we're, do, we're interviewing Chris, and we're also going to have Jason Holmes, the promoter, call in. So uh, we have a great show and a great recap of the event. Hey, so, man, Houston, it's so hot over there. Huh? I thought Miami was hot. Oh, man, it's, it's hot and humid. <laughs> it's hot and humid, exactly. Like, yeah. I rented a car, right? And uh -huh. when I got in the car, like about 4 o'clock, man, my hands burned. <laughs> you know? I thought Miami was hot. Everybody out there joining us, power, share the show. Right now is the time to share. We're going to have a great interview uh, with Chris. Um, so, hey. You won. You're one of the winners of the event, and uh, yeah, congratulations, man. right? You're having a very active year, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, so um, we're going to talk about KTOC. Uh, we're going to talk about martial arts, the event. Um, let's just go through some of the highlights of the event. These are some of the pictures I took up there. Uh, you know, some of the people that went to the event, Mexico, uh, you know, people from Oregon, that's Ed T. Mantra right there. Uh, Canal, right? Michigan, yeah. right there. More T. Mazra. How about this guy, right? The, the history, yeah. Right? He, he's a big part of uh, karate over there, right? Gary Lee. With a True Texans. Guy. Yeah. Mr. Stewart. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Mr. Lee. Fire Syndicate was in the house. Yep. Yeah. How about the medic? How about this oh, guy? Sweeney. Billy Sweeney. <laughs> he was yeah. busy this weekend. Huh? Real busy, huh? <laughs> it looked like the first few fights, everybody was getting hurt. Like, they were, they were banging. They were hitting hard. Is that a yeah, thing man. in Texas that everybody hits? Is that that's common? Like, like, I know Miami is known for, like, the hard hitters, you know, in Florida. And then in, my, in Orlando, it's more, like, finesse and stuff, you know? Is, that, is it like that in, in uh, Texas, too? I want to. I really don't want to say uh, that's what we're all about. I just know that when we come out of Texas, we we some hard fighters. I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing I can speak on, I can't really say if it's all about the hard hitting because you know, it's 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 ton of Texas players that's out here that's you know skillful, you know, yeah, and also can do some damage. Yeah, a and Texas is huge. Like I was talking, you know, with a few people that are like Texas. It's not just like, oh, okay, Florida, you could go to any Florida tournament. Like, Texas is almost like a country. Like, you got to drive, <laughs> right? you got to drive, like, from one end to the other is, like, how many hours? 13, 14, 12 hours? Yeah, depending on where you're driving, because, you know, uh, shout out to everybody out there in El Paso. That's that's pretty far. That's, that's like a 12, 13-hour drive, and that's in Texas. You know, and that's a, that's that's you know, a pretty large distance to be inside the same state. Yeah, man, for sure. Hey, but um, but uh, but it's a great state for sport karate. You know. Oh yeah. And um, like I was really impressed with the uh. Make sure you guys share this. I'm sharing it right now on all my groups. Make sure you guys share this and uh, give us some power. Hey, but I was impressed. And you know what? With a lot of juniors too, those junior divisions were stocked, especially yeah. in the black belt uh, division. And um, you know, you train at, at, at with a Willie Hicks, right? Yes, yes, sir. Regina Thompson, and you guys yes. have a good crew. Like I saw you out there coaching and stuff. You know, supporting all the all the kids. And uh, it looks like you yeah. know you guys got a good thing going over there in the school. Who are your training partners other than them? You got a uh, Regina, Willie, right? Who else? Yeah, I got Gary Lee. Uh, this all depends. I mean, uh, I have Dougie. Um, 
couple couple people you know that comes in you know in Texas man you know it's not it's, it's not a full house you know we're not lit we don't, I can't you know I haven't went all the way around Texas we have a lot of fighters out here but I, I don't get a chance to go train with everybody but just to you know normal you know it's really my normal crew yeah for sure hey so you started you know take us history uh you know on Chris Robinson when when did you start martial arts and karate and why uh, well, I started karate, really, actually, I did a little fighting, you know, on the outside, you know, I did a little bit of boxing, did a little bit of kempo and stuff, you know, here and there, did and dabbed in it, but never actually got into it like I did sport karate. Um, and it actually, when I first started this thing, it was actually for my son. You know, I got him, I wanted him to get in some type of martial arts. I wanted him to get into some type of karate, you know, uh, really just, you know, from us transitioning from another city to another city, I kind of wanted them to just, you know, have something to do. However, during that transition, I ended up getting involved about five years ago. And uh, just never looked back from there, man. You know, uh, really not a big story. It just, it happened. It happened. I fell in love with it. It changed my life. Uh, it did a lot for me. You know, yeah, man. Wow. So you brought, your, you wanted to bring in your kids. Right, yeah. and then you got into it. That's, up that's being a involved. great story right there. Yeah. And uh, you just got your black belt last year, right? Yeah, yeah. Mar uh, to be exact, March 19, 2017. Yep, just last year. That's you right there with the record. Uh, you won the record. Uh, is that your first one? Or you've won others? Yeah, that's my before? first record out here. Nice, man, nice. You and Regina, you guys uh, You guys won. Uh, you won the 35 and up grants right. and uh regina won the uh the women open and and women fight overall right so you overall. guys yep. you know you guys held your own right there and um hey so so how is it like man you guys have a lot of chemistry together you willie you know regina you guys are like a family right how often do you guys get together and train man that's it's a norm it's a norm for us I mean, like, I mean, you, you see us all. It's, it's going to, when you see us, it's normally who it is. It's going to be me, Willie Hicks, Regina. I see Martha. You're going to see Gary Lee. I mean, majority of the time, that's us. We stick together. You know, that's our squad. That's Fight Line Academy. And um, the chemistry between us, I mean, you know, it, you know, we call each other brothers and sisters. You know, one, everybody know Willie Hicks. That's my instructor. But that's my instructor, my brother, my mentor, you know, my best friend. I mean, all the above, you know, me, me, uh, same thing. You know, I, I, we, we joked about it the other day, how me and her couldn't stand each other. Now, if you say something about me, me, I hit you in your mouth and vice versa for her, you know, now, you know, we just, we, we, we end up, you know, having a bond with each other and, you know, sticking to, sticking to each other like glue. So, you know, the chemistry is just, is just there. We all, we all believe and we all trust in each other, you know, uh, and then we all always help each other. So, you know, basically, you know, it's, it's, it's a weekly thing for us when we train. You know, uh, during the week, weekends, don't matter, man. Anytime we can catch each other, we're going to train. Hey, I remember when I was in New Orleans um, for uh, Pee Wee's tournament. The tournament was Saturday, and you guys were making plans to train on Sunday, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is yeah, that that's like some people will say that's crazy, but that's just a lifestyle, right? And like it's it, it, it's it, it's a lifestyle, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, well, you know, uh, we train and this and that." You know, sometimes you know, I'm not gonna say you know you got to train fifty thousand hours a day, but training is the key. So you know, when we do train and when we can train, we're gonna train. If it's if it's uh, on a Sunday, if it's I mean, it's, it's been times I remember uh, I was getting off work around about midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning. And this is no lie. This is a true story. I'm getting off two, maybe two, three o'clock in the morning. Let me say that. Uh, I call Willie Hicks and tell him I want to train. He comes straight to me. And, you know, it, it, it just goes to show like that just it just it just stuck on me and just, you know, grew on me. And I just, you know, never walked away from it. Never, wow, you know, I don't feel nothing hey, different. I just, right there. That right there is loyalty to each other too. You guys got like a like family right there for real to wake up at that time to train. Hey, talking about family, um, AP is saying 
do your thing, train hard, power, bang, right? You, you're on a, you got picked up by KTOC this year, right? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. they picked up uh, Anthony Price as a coach. And then um, all of a sudden, you know, they pick you up. You know, they start getting some pickups. And, um, you know, you went to, you guys had a, a training in New York recently. You know, tell yeah. us about your time on KTOC and just, you know, you know, you know, KTOC, how did, how did they, how did you get picked up and just, uh, you know, just KTOC, how do you feel about being on the team? Uh, well, you know, all around, I can't give you, I can't give you all every detail that happened during the training. So I'm going to start off with the training. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and get that out the way. The training, that's our, you know, that's our best kept secret, but I'm going to tell you like this, man, that's something I've never seen before. You know, uh, I mean, I was ecstatic. I couldn't wait to get up there. You know, then been around all your teammates, your coaches, your sponsors, all the above. I mean, you know, they treated me like a king in the city of New York. You know what I'm saying? We, we, I was in New York and felt like I was at home, you know, literally. But um, besides that, I mean, that training was uh, that training was that training, that training was crazy. I mean, we had special guests and everything in the place. But, you know, uh, that that was a big that was a big thing. And, uh, oh yeah, you guys had fun up there. And uh, what's the next, what's the next team event for you guys? Are you, are you guys doing battle? You're gonna have a team oh, battle for sure. We're doing battle. Everybody yeah, know well, that. I can't we're... wait to see. I mean, look at the lineup. You got AP as the coach. You, yeah. Um, Matthew, right? That's our that's team captain. Together. Yeah, Matthew, our team captain. We got yeah, cool. Shout out to all my whole. You know, k Tai gang, bang, 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 k Tai gang. Y'all know what it is. Uh, we got <laughs> me, Matt, Luke, Yakub, Tariq, you know, uh, Kiara, you know, Lil Flame. We got, we. I mean, you know, we stack from the females to the males. You know, I feel like yeah, we got, you know, we got, we, we have, have a, we have a legit squad. You guys yeah, we stack. Hot. Yeah. How about, um, so the event, how, you know. How, how was the event? How did you enjoy Jam? Uh, we're about to bring in uh, Jason Holmes, a promoter as well. How did you enjoy the event? Oh, another year, man. You know, uh, this is our city, man. I mean, every year I, I just got to, you know, hats off to them. You know, it's nothing like they, they always, Jam Mall is always the biggest, and to me, the biggest and the, and, and the baddest uh, uh, tournament in, in Texas. You know, hats off to a lot of the uh, promoters and so on. You know, throughout Texas, don't you know? Don't get it twisted, but man, you know, I've, I've always loved Jam Ball. You know, it's some, it's some big, it's some other big ones. You know, that's outside of uh, uh, Texas. That's pretty good, but right around the corner, there's been some decent ones. But as far as you know, if, if I'm, I'm gonna call Texas, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give all shout outs to Jam Ball because you know every year they have a great, you know, a great event. Yeah, yeah, it's a great event. Hey, so right now you're, um, you're, at, you know, of course, you're obviously over thirty five, right? Um, yeah, like, but you, but but you're new at this. You're kind of like peaking. You know, it's different. Like a lot of people that start martial arts, they start at five, six, seven, eight, and they compete as juniors, and then they go into adults. But you're right now, you know, not even in your prime. I would say, right? Or you're you're almost at your prime. Like like you're just getting started with this, you know. And uh, yeah, I, it's I, true. I see, the reason why I say that is because you're. I see you improving. You know, every year and every year, and like the hot, you know, the sky's the limit with you. Um, and uh, you know, so you know, but but you don't often see this. Usually, by thirty-five, you know, people are kind of like on the decline. But you're kind of getting started right now. How long? How many years you see yourself doing this? Well, uh, a great martial artist always said he had his best fights in his thirties. Yeah, I think he, if if he's watching, he know he know he know he know who, he t who told me that. But uh, I I I I look at it like this here: um, I'm martial arts. Uh, I'm the new thirties, twenties, <laughs> or the new twenties, yeah, thirties. You know, whatever you want to say. Because yeah, I, I did I did get a late start. I got a late start, but I also got a I think a, a better outlook of it. I, I, I think that was my, my advantage, you know, um, having a late start. I got to look at more. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? From the old school to the new school. I just, just I just didn't jump in and not know nothing. You understand what I'm saying? I, I kind of yeah. got to understand. I, I did a lot of research, you know, watched a lot of videos. You know, nowadays, you know, 
You can get on the YouTube and watch anything you want to watch, you know, from old school to new school. So, I mean, basically, that's how I kind of, you know, ran with it. But like I said, my advantage was starting a little bit late. You know yeah, what I'm saying? My fresh. advantage is a little bit late. Yeah, you got a fresh body there. You're not all nicked up from the from auto. You had a history of already fighting. But, um, but yeah, man. So, so yeah, bro. So, thanks for joining us. Uh, congratulations on, on the win over there. And keep doing your thing. You're you're really active, and uh, you know I'm a fan of yours. Like you one time helped my team win, right? Uh, so you yes, know, sir. I'm a big fan of yours, and and you're a great dude. And I'm uh, it's great to see you out there uh, competing. I got one more question for you. Uh, you, you know you said you started karate because of your kids. Uh, are do they do karate still? Are your kids still doing? Yeah, they did. They did karate. Actually, they didn't complete this year. Uh, I mean, this year. Excuse me, this weekend, uh, due to the fact I was kind of more focused on myself and I didn't want to be selfish and just, you know, think about myself and, and you know, didn't want to pay attention to them. I was just focused on what I came to do. You know, it was all work for me this week weekend. So they didn't get to compete this weekend, but they are still active. They still compete. I have a five-year-old. Actually, right now he's, he's standing out here right in front of me, right here, ah, yeah. <laughs> playing around. And... uh my 11 year old, he's uh, he's also active. Um, he still competes, so you know, they they still doing their thing. It don't stop. Yeah, man, you got a future uh, black belt team right there. Right? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a whole squad. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, we're gonna bring in Jason. You want to stay on? You could stay on as well. We could talk more jam off. Cool. Okay. All right, let's bring on Jason, the promoter. Bring him on real quick. Yo, what's up, Jason? What's going on, y'all? What's up, Chris? What's up? You you can hear everybody, Chris. You can hear uh, Jason and myself. Oh yeah, now I can see, I can see him. Yeah, what's going on, J Doc? What's okay. up? Hey, so Jason, you've, <laughs> you've kind of seen you know Chris coming up, right? And um, yes. you know. You know, what are the major improvements that you've seen in his fighting just coming up, um, you know, fighting-wise, as you've seen him over the years? Did you see him as a white belt competitor, beginner, intermediate, advanced, or he just went straight to black belt? Because I remember him being known as a black belt killer, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The nickname, the nick, the nickname is BBS Black Belt Slayer, baby. Or Slayer, but yeah. yeah, Black Belt Slayer. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, Chris has been awesome, man. I mean, I remember seeing him when he first came, and you know, like, who's this big dude? Who's this big light skinned dude? You know, and he's just going out there. <laughs> never did karate because you know, you, being in martial arts, you've seen everyone from white belt going up or going through the ranks and stuff, and especially at competitions. And this guy was just real strong. And nobody wanted to fight him. I mean, he was a beast. No lie, he's a beast, man. And then going out there, I think the intimidation factor sometimes just got to people. And, and he would go after them. And the hardest thing, you know, as, a, as, a, as an instructor, as a coach, is to teach people how to have courage and how to go after people. Chris already had that. So that was the one thing. We, he, they just had to work on his skill and then his fighting mentality. And I can see it as years have gone along. And, and honestly, I mean, Chris knows me and Chris had to fight a whole lot of times because of that, <laughs> and, you know, the age group and everything. And first, you know, people don't want to fight him. They're like, oh, he's big. He's going to hit you hard and everything. I'm like, OK, you know, go in there and just fight it. But then after a while, Chris started getting a lot smarter, too. And it's like, wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Now I got to really fight this guy, man. Like, what's going on? So it, it's like. You can tell how people are, and I know you know too, Alex. You can tell how people are when they're fighting, you know, if they know their skill or not. And if they're just all just just going after it. But um, over these last couple of years, Chris has stepped up a lot. And, and we can tell he's not as he, – he's not just going as hard now. He's starting to think now. He's starting yeah, to change sure. up things. He's starting yeah, to put his kicks sure. in there and his hands. He's stepping off the line. He's blitzing with a reverse punch and a back fist. Like, just putting those things together sometimes takes a lot of years and obviously a lot of training and experience. And Chris, over the years, like I said, he's been going to the NASCAR tournaments. He's been hitting the NBL tournaments. His training partners, he's been over there with, with Lump. And uh, we know yeah. Lump has been around for a while. So his... 
he's been gaining it and he's had the right people around him. I mean, we always talk about the people around you are who you kind of end up being like. And um, Chris has some good people around him to be able to teach him the right things. Yeah. And I, love, I know Lump and Willie and they'll tell him, hey, that was stupid. Why'd you do that? And he was like, oh man, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and after a while, man, that just catches on. And you start thinking about it and, and he's gotten it. He's gotten it right now. Like now he's, he's a wreckage, Thanks, man. He's there, man. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, so, um, you know, Jam on Nationals, uh, you know, some of the highlights, you know, my, my team came there for the first time. Although Ryan is one, Ryan is, you know, he's a guy that he's won, you know, the overall there a few times already, right? From yeah. the beginning, right? He's He's been there from the beginning. He got a picture up from when you guys started at the high school gym. Yes. And um, so, so, you know, he had his baby shower there. Our team was there. We had a great time. And, um, you know, it was awesome. You know, we, we ended up winning teams. And, uh, you know, the overall was we, we had an awesome time. Uh, Jeremy Francoeur came over for the first time uh, in NBL. He enjoyed it. You know, our team really enjoyed the event. Um, you know, so, yeah. So, you know, take us through the jam. I like you know, take us through the experience, you know, or the hard work behind the scenes that goes to take this tournament, you know, um, to, to do everything. Like, just a little bit and sum it up, all the hard work that you have to put in the event to be successful. Well, for any promoter, I mean, we all know that it takes a lot of hard work. I know everyone doesn't see the stuff behind the scenes. Um, unfortunately, you know, my mother just passed away, like, a week ago, oh, man. right before my event. So... I'm trying to deal with the funeral and trying to get everything there, together. That was a tough one for me. But um, honestly, I got to say that um, the people around me, my friends, my karate school, PKKA, uh, Donna helped out a lot as well. And, and you know that I don't want to, I don't want to take all the credit as well. Like me and Donna Petway, we actually did start the yeah. tournament together and uh, we started trading off every year. So last year was his, this year was my year. Um, but we, we, it was a lot of hard work. I mean, a lot of people don't look at the little things that goes into it. And then it was, a, it was, it was work as far as this is the first time that we've had it on a Saturday and a Sunday. Oh, yeah. I know that was a little difficult for a lot of people, especially in America. I know in, in, in Mexico, they do it all the time, but in America, it's not old school. I mean, I know, you know, Alex, I mean, back in the day, Long Beach internationals was yeah. Saturday, Sunday. I mean, that was norm. And that's the way we grew up. But over the years, it's kind of changed. And now that we have a Memorial weekend, I thought it was best that we can, you know, kind of relax a little bit, do it on Saturday, Sunday, and just go home on Monday. No one has to take off of work. We're not rushing yeah. on Friday. For so me, I, I thought that that was Like cool. for me and my team, um, you know, some of them had to work Friday. So yes. they had internship, like Ryan and Jeremy have internship. And for me, mm -hmm. you know, I have school, so it was perfect, you know, to just leave Friday night, come in, and then Saturday is a competition, then Sunday, and then Monday is Memorial Day. We missed no work or nothing, you know, yeah. so for me, it worked out great. How is the feedback from everybody else? And uh, Chris, how do you like it, too, after Jason tells us the feedback? Well, you, you asked me the feedback on the on the weekend yeah, on the weekend tournament. Saturday, Sunday, did you like it like that? Yeah, it, it, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, you, you know, you get into the the routine, like you say, you get into the routine of always going to a tournament on that Friday or that Saturday. So it, it was something different for me too. I mean, only only Sunday tournament that I've um, that I've that I have attended or was you know uh, somewhere. By was in Detroit, actually one of um, Plowden's uh, tournaments. Yeah, and that was like the first one. But like I said, I've never actually been and competed in one and did all that until you know this weekend. And it were it really wasn't bad. I mean, because like you say, man, it, it it fell in it fell in to the right times. You know, Friday, like you say, you didn't have to rush Friday. Saturday, yeah, we had to get up early, but it was like the norm. Any Saturday, you're gonna get up nine o'clock in the morning, start your tournament. It was just a double. It was to me. It was just like a double Saturday. You just had to get up in the morning, yeah, you know, get ready for it. Saturday. It wasn't as bad. Yeah, that's true. And we had Ryan's uh, baby shower Saturday night. Yeah, awesome. you know, it was that was cool. But, um, but yeah, man, it's always good to listen to feedback too. And you did something different, 
you know, and that's sometimes yeah. what it takes, you know, sometimes to succeed is just go and do something different and just, uh, and I, I think it worked out great. I liked it. Thanks, yeah. man. I appreciate it. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things, I know me and you talked about it, Alex, is that, you know, we've been around martial arts for a long time. And I, I swear I've been so many different places uh, all over the world doing martial arts. But honestly, I never really got to experience it. I never really got to go out and go see a whole lot of those places. I was just at the tournament on Friday, at the tournament on Saturday, and then I go home on Sunday. It was just like one of those things that, you know, we never really get to experience the city that we're in. Yeah. We never get to hang out with the people that we're in. And um, <laughs> go on, Chris, go on, Chris. But yeah, so we never get to we never get to do those type of things. So I wanted it to be something that people can go and hang out and just go have fun. You know, uh, I think Saturday was a great time for everyone to uh, five six hours to just spend time with friends and family. You know, that came out. Yeah, to it was cool. Like yeah. Ryan's uh, Ryan's Ryan's uh, baby shower. I mean, we wouldn't really be able to get to do that in any other competition. So yeah, it was true. a great yeah. time and opportunity. That was great to see the karate family all get together. Yeah, and yeah that was another cool. Another highlight of the event too was uh, Chris uh, Gallio coming back. Right, he made a comeback. Yeah. And he fought well. Yeah. <laughs> he fought well. He gave Chance a, a good fight. You know, without yeah. without you know, he just came back out of nowhere. And that was great. That was great seeing him. Seven and years retirement. <laughs> hey, Chris still has a passion too. You know, uh, yeah. He still has a passion for for the sport. He was like, I hung out with him a lot, and uh, I want to see if I could get him back in the sport some way. You know, maybe to come on on the show with me and commentate or just talk about some things, or maybe he, he would do that. Compete, but but you could see that they're they're very passionate. Still at the, oh, yeah. about the sport, and you know, us, the sport needs a guy like that, you know, and, and a family like yeah. that again. So shout yeah. out to them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so um, so yeah, man, great work on the event. Uh, I had a great time. Uh, you know, it was awesome. Do you have the dates for next year? All righty, or not? Um, yet? we we don't have it yet, but most likely it's Memorial Weekend. I mean, it's again, just pretty much gonna be Memorial Weekend. Stand. Yeah. 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 Same weekend every year. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, I'm going to talk to Don A, and we're still going to try to figure some things out, but I don't know if it's going to be um, a Saturday, Sunday, or, or if it's going to be Friday, Saturday. But um, I do tell you this. Um, I know we've had a, a, a couple of people talking about it, and, um, you know, I think we're at that point now where a couple of people have gotten gold records, and I think now it's about that time for them to go platinum. So, uh <laughs> those that have won those gold records, you guys to step it up. Keep getting that gold record, and it's time to go platinum. Time to go platinum. <laughs> so next, uh, you're gonna have the platinum ones it, for the people. That won, yes. <laughs> That's yes. great. That's great. Hey, I wanted one of them gold ones. I got a gold one though. <laughs> so, now you gotta go platinum. I'm just saying. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I want that platinum next year. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Platinum records. Hey, so you're you also fight, Jason, and you've been pretty yeah. active this year. So what's your next tournament? Um. Man, I'm all over the place right now. Like I said, I'm dealing with some personal stuff that's going on. But, uh, I mean, I did. I, I fought in New Orleans. I, <laughs> I fought in New Orleans. Nationals, November 19th. It's Point Fighter approved as well. Yes, there we go. That's November 18th. <laughs> and it's also a Sunday tournament, too. Oh, it is. Ahead. It is. It definitely <laughs> is. Yeah. yeah. AP out there, huh? Okay. Um, you know <laughs> no, I mean, I, I do plan on hitting a few more tournaments this year. Um, you know, I had some injuries earlier. Fighting Chris, I broke my hand. And uh, I think oh, he messed man. up his shoulder. That was a 15, 16-minute <laughs> wow. long fight that I don't know what <laughs> happened. And um, and then in San Antonio, I fought in San Antonio this last, uh, like, two weeks. Like, what was it, like a month ago or something against the Germans? Oh, yeah. Um, Mario, I fought against Mario. We went in a double, triple oh, yeah. time. Um, and, uh, I ended up, I won 35 plus, but then I ended up losing to Mario for, um, 18 plus for first and second. And, um, so I'm still pretty active. I mean, I'm still going out there to the competitions. 
I'm trying to hit battle. I'm gonna try to hit battle, and then uh, I definitely got to hit up our NBL and support support those guys that are supporting me. Um, Locko okay. Villanueva has his tournament in El Paso. We have Chris Ben Wallace has his tournament in New Orleans. Oh, it's- yeah. We're definitely going to hit those tournaments up. I think we have uh, some of our local circuit TKO tournaments that are out here that um, I'll definitely be supporting those guys and um, bringing my kids out as well. I mean, uh, it's good to be able to have your kids be able to watch you fight as well. So I'm never going to stop until um, until I can't go anymore. Yeah, I've, I've sure, been out man. there. Right. Sure. Yes. Texas has yes. a great, uh, it's like a very talented, it's a great sport karate state. Um, so, yeah, man, thanks for joining us, guys. I uh, had a great time. I can't wait for next year and the next tournament, uh, you know, Battle of Atlanta. I can't wait uh, for my team. So, you guys hopefully will be there as well. And uh, thanks for joining us on Point Fighter Live. All right. Appreciate thanks a lot. It. See you with the right, no next year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Jada. All right, man. All right.